If you wanted to know why I'd like to be in South Africa now, all you have to do is look out the window. Typical English spring day. Overcast, grey, drizzly, and a sort of medium temperature. I can close my eyes and imagine arriving in Cape Town tomorrow morning, no jet lag, come out of the airport, cobalt blue skies, caressed by that lovely warmth. Uh, I can't imagine anything nicer. There is something about Cape Town. Spent a day driving around the wine lands in Stellenbosch and Franschhoek. Again, the most beautiful wine lands in the world. Probably not the best wines in the world, but pretty good. Um, and the nicest, most hospitable winemakers. Um, I popped in at Mierlust, uh, saw Hannes Mayberg, popped in to my old friend Giles Webb at, at, at Thelema, up on the top of the Hell's Hook to Pass. Went across to, to Franschhoek, had lunch at a wonderful new restaurant called Kleinkenaut. Terrific. I mean, you can't think of a nicer day. Of course, uh, Cape Town is the place that everybody knows. It, it's arguably the most beautiful city in, in the world, the most be certainly the most beautiful setting. And with all those wine lands and the beautiful beaches, of course, everyone thinks of it. But I actually, there's a lot of other parts of South Africa that I particularly like. I'm very fond of uh, the Natal interior, KwaZulu Natal interior. I love the Drakensberg. I think the history of the Anglo-Zulu wars is something that resonates and should resonate with, with Brits, some of the great battles, and you can relive them. I can't recommend enough people standing on the side of Isandlwana and having that battle described, one of the great Zulu victories of all time against the British Army, is terrific. I suppose the most asked question we have, I have, is about crime in South Africa, and you, it, it, it's an unavoidable conversation. Um, my view is that it, 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 you'd be very unlucky as a tourist to encounter crime. It's, I, I've heard of very, very few incidents. And the advice we give our readers and, um, and I give personal friends is that if you take local advice and, and, and you'll be fine. I think one of the great things you can do as a, as, as a holiday maker in South Africa is go motoring. And I don't, think the, I, don't, I don't think that's at all unsafe. I would jump in a car and travel thousands of miles across South Africa. I think once you get, particularly in the rural areas, you get into the rural areas and you'll find the sweetest, friendliest people you'll find anywhere on the planet. Uh, lovely country for motoring. I would recommend anyone to do a, a, a motoring holiday. And in fact, that's what I'd like to do the next time I go there. I have to go to the bush felt every year. Um, it's a, it nourishes my soul. And one of, the, my, uh, one of the places I've discovered recently is the northernmost part of the Kruger Park. In the south, it's much more accessible to, to, to day trippers, to, to people who go through Johannesburg and need a quick, uh, a quick wildlife break. But you go up to the, to the north, to Crook's Corner, the part where the three countries meet, where Mozambique, Zimbabwe and South Africa meet, and you're in absolutely raw bushveld. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, lovely remote uh, part of the land. There's a very good camp called Pafuri up there and I'd, I would recommend that to anybody.